So moving on now to debate number two, a simple onam celebration at a government school in Kerala's Mallapuram has drawn the ire of Muslim bodies. This after girl students were seen dancing in hijab as part of the celebrations. Nearly 600 students of the Bandur Government High Secondary School danced to the tunes of latest Malayalam hit songs at the event held in the school on Saturday. Many of the students in the video are seen wearing hijab. A senior member of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board, Asma Zehra, however, censured the students, accusing them of having misrepresented and misused hijab. She said that dancing in hijab defeats the very purpose of the Islamic clothing. Listen. <laughs> स्कूल ने उनको ये करने पर मजबूर किया तो ये बिल्कुल अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बात है गैर कानूनी बात है वैसे जहां तक शरीयत के लॉस की बात की जाए तो हिजाब की बहुत ज्यादा रिस्पेक्ट है और हिजाब पहनकर गैर मर्दों के सामने डांस करने की बिल्कुल भी परमिशन नहीं है जहां तक शरीयत की बात की जाए now, these girls' students appeared thrilled, excited to be able to celebrate a festival in school after a gap of two years due to COVID pandemic. They danced out of their own will without anyone forcing them to do so. Listen. <laughs> Well, you heard the girls, students. It's also very important to highlight that several political leaders in the past have backed hijab as fundamental right of choice. OSC called hijab ban an assault on the right to wear what one wants to wear. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra said a woman has the right to wear what she wants to wear. But now when these Muslim girls are being censured for dancing out of their choice, why is this rights brigade silent today? Instead of speaking up on this trampling of choice, the opposition leaders saw saffron ploy in the controversy once again. Look, in the festival, every religion has participation in it. This is a traditional and cultural thing. Why is it politically comment on it? I don't know. This is the whole life. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen today. This is the first time someone has connected with hijab, socially, culturally, eating, drinking, 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 बीजेपी का एजेंडा है आरएसएस का एजेंडा है डिवीजन का पॉलिटिक्स करने के लिए सब कर रहा है। देखिए सबसे बड़ी बात ये है कि पूरे देश में इस तरह का माहौल खड़ा करने का एक कोशिश चल रहा है और आप देख रहे होंगे कि हेजाब के मामले को जिस तरह से भारतीय इंता पार्टी ने अपने वोट बैंक के तौर पर जो रिएक्शनरी फोर्स है वो कहीं ना कहीं इस मामले को बढ़ा चढ़ा करके प्रस्तुत कर रही है और इस तरह का अगर एक धर्म विशेष को बदनाम करने के नियत से अगर कोई कार्यक्रम चलाया गया तो ये ठीक नहीं है Let's uh, go across to our guest, Dr. Arun Ranganathar and Tosif Ahmed continue to be with us. We're joined by Rahul Ishwar, an activist, and we also have Advocate Tala Rashidi, spokesperson of the Rashtriya Ulema Council. Good evening to all of you. Advocate Rashidi, I want to come to you first. There seems to be a conflict and divide within the community itself. Some are saying if the girls have done this by their choice, then it's their personal issue. And then there are others who are saying, hijab pehen ke aapne aisa kiya, so you've defeated the very purpose of hijab. Are these girls not allowed to express their happiness through their dance? Advocate Rashidi, can you hear me? Sun paare aap mujhe? Yeah, 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 I can hear you now, yes. Yes, please go ahead then. What was your question? I did get it because the voice was cracking. Advocate, Advocate Rashidi, I said there's a conflict. There seems to be a difference of opinion arising from within the community itself. Some are saying if the girls were not forced, if they did it out of their own will, then it's fine. It's their personal issue. Others are saying that they're defeating the purpose of hijab. See, uh... Swatiji, a uh, very good evening to everyone on the panel here and, and to your viewers also. Uh, first of all, you need to understand the differences in between, you know. When you talk about a religious, uh, if you talk about this issue on a religious point of view, there will be a different definition. But if you talk about a, an individual's uh, point of view, there could be a different definition of the same. 
if you will ask for a religious opinion as per the religion you know uh, even dancing is not uh, allowed as per the uh, religion but uh, if you forget about you know wearing a hijab and then dancing around but if you talk about an individual's opinion or individual decision i am a muslim it's it depends upon me i follow the religious lines or not that's my own decision you know you cannot force me to follow a certain religion or you cannot force me to not follow a certain religion the question when arises if you if you're talking about this issue in the context of the uh, the controversy of hijab ban in certain schools of karnataka and some other uh, no, cities of the are, country no, there are some there you know, are some let me, let me complain that... now let me let me please complain no, give me 15 seconds let me complain i'm saying about advocate rashidi i'm asking you only a follow up question because you are past nahi ja rahi hu i'm saying because you asked me how you look at it i am saying when i look at these girls i just look at them as girls irrespective of their religion participating in a festival called onam dancing expressing themselves but there are those who can see religion in this as well i absolutely agree with you and i am also of the same opinion these girls are you know uh, they they are making their own decision they are taking their own decision they are free to do whatever they want to do whether in hijab or without a hijab in western outfit or in western outfits or without western outfits that's completely th their own decision but again if you know there are certain uh, there is also this gungat culture hindu mythology there is also this you know uh, when uh, i have read a few text also when the western outfits were banned in hindu mythology according to some hindu uh, oh. religious texts i'm not going into oh, one second the, again you know, i am uh, the, the, i am not doing that and i expect there, you to also certain... not pit a religion against a religion i'm trying to understand the mentality and the ideology behind the statements that are being made so 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 rahul ishwar uh, like i said there there are some netas when the hijab controversy uh, you know was witnessed in karnataka and then in the entire country some said this is an assault on their right to wear what they want to so it was about freedom of choice how does this become uh, you know defeating the purpose of hijab and not a freedom of choice choice to express yourself through a dance right to wear is again denial of a fundamental human expression and fundamental human right you know inshallah their um, our muslim sisters are dancing so well and happy for their joy so let us see the joy in their dance and not delay them and a religious conservative myself belong to the hindu community but my humble request to all india muslim also robot who i share a good relationship with please let us not overdo it if you are going to overdo it it will only create some kind of a backlash let's be realistic about these things yes family values should be there conservative values need to be there but if you are going to overstress it you are going to only have a big backlash from the community mm -hmm. and the left liberal silence is definitely the pseudo secular left liberal silence is definitely mm -hmm. because they want to appease the hardline conservative in the muslim community and bind Hold back, and they they even want to comment on an issue where girls are out of their field dancing. So their you know their secular pseudo secular liberals are very definitely. Hmm. See, we can have many standpoints. I respect R and G. He is following the Ambedkar G. Neda G. Rai. I follow the Gandhi and Rai. But at the end of the day, we have some common ground so that we can accept and understand. No attacking girls who are dancing out of joy for Kerala. Absolutely. Gracious, you know, and I appreciate so the stand and taken by Advocate Rashidi when he says you cannot force somebody to follow religious lines. Dr. Anand Anand, your take. No, absolutely, and I think so. I think it is wonderful that Muslims are celebrating the Hindu festival of Onam, just like Hindus celebrate Christmas and Eid. It shows us that, however much the divisive forces may try and separate the Indian followers of Islam from the cultural and civilizational ethos that has percolated to each one of us through millennia, and try and box it as being sourced from Arabia, the truth is that this is what makes us Indian and special and glorious. look the fundamentalist claim and it has to be said rightly so that a practicing muslim who believes in the sharia and every single word that there is in the holy quran is a good muslim while a practicing muslim who dances drinks fornicates supports muslim women who reject the burqa or the hijab can draw a portrait of whosoever he wishes to is homosexual gives equal share of inheritance to male and female and is fine with all his fellow muslims being all of the above is a bad muslim it is also a fact that according to the fundamentalists that is those who follow the fundamentals dancing before someone other than your husband mm -hmm. is forbidden in islam interpreted from 1737 and 3332 then again india is peaceful and glorious yet because the majority ignore these fatwas and dictates mm. and so we can have people like varish pathan of aimim right. instinctively chanting ganpati bappa morya mm. even though later he had to apologize because the fundamentalist leader of his party obesi asked him to okay. if india is to remain peaceful and glorious swati 
Muslims like Hindus and Christians and Sikhs must continue to celebrate all Indian festivals. Tawseef Ahmed, isn't this Muslims a beautiful example? Tawseef Ahmed, isn't this a beautiful example of uh, th that uh, Sarva Dharm Sambhav that everybody talks about in India? Do you see Do you see anything wrong in the manner in which the girls are expressing themselves? No, the girls have all the right to join uh, their uh, fellow classmate in a traditional dance. Uh, you know, uh, this, uh, if for an example, I can talk about Ghumar dance in uh, folk, folk dance of Rajasthan. This dance is performed only in an audience of women. The, the men are not allowed. So similarly, if there are some people who are trying to signify that hijab is a symbol of chastity and modesty and that there is a certain uh, importance of hijab in Sharia, they are also not wrong. I think what they could have done is that joining an Onam celebration is important. Mm. And you could have adopted you know, their traditional uh, dress. Why, no, why not? You know, there is nothing wrong in that if, if it is a formal event. If the if the if somebody if the school authority or someone is forcing them, you know, to join the dance wearing their own hijab, then that is wrong. But none of them is. If it is from their own forced. personal choice, no, that's that's, a, that's welcome. But none of them is it would have been forced. better. No, that has to be that, no, that has to be verified. You know, this has to be verified. Oh, how can you and I uh, sitting on uh, by just watching a visual pass a judgment? Rauli, Just sure. one submission. People from all communities celebrate Onam in Kerala. Onam has Hindu roots. It's a celebration of Mahavishnu Avatar Vamari and the great King Mahabali. But all communities join together to celebrate the Hindu festival. I have rightly pointed out by Dr. Anand Bengarajan. And it is a common thing. We join for a Christmas or Eid. This is our culture. And please remember these Muslims are wearing their visa because they are also not forgetting their roots. Hmm. On one hand, they are following their community. Right. And Tosif Ahmed, we are not judging, based on, culture, we're not judging we based on the vision that we are getting and you know not judging based on what uh, is being reported but we are going by what these girl students have told us and we played out a reaction the student's name is Amira she says we are excited to be celebrating Onam after a gap of it's two wonderful. years our teachers are supporting us and we are thrilled that was her reaction if she was forced she would have said it on camera that we are being forced like how the girls protested when they were not being allowed to enter institutes wearing a hijab none of them are protesting today they are all participating they are all happy they are excited they are thrilled and you can see it on their faces what is important here is to while we maintain a stand and our panelists have uh, maintained a stand that it was out of their personal choice it is good one should appreciate it one should also call out those who are saying this is defeating the purpose of hijab that's all gentlemen thank you very much for joining us